as I've kind of teased up till now, today we're going to be learning all about using Google Analytics 4 as your e-commerce analytics tool, both for tracking, reporting, all of that stuff. Mike will take us into some more in-depth, the detailed reporting um, looks as far as orienting yourself in Google Analytics 4 and understanding what you're really looking at when you're in the platform. He's also going to take us into some live examples, both in the uh, Google Analytics 4 demo store, as well as within some in-house reports we have here for Inflow. Um, just to give you an example of some of the capabilities of the platform and what it would look like as you're actually going through it. So now that you know, we understand some of the basics about the metrics and we understand you know, how to orient ourselves and have a little bit of better idea of what we're looking at when we look at reports in Google Analytics, let's look at some live examples and see where we can find some of this stuff. So the examples that we're going to look at, we are going to look at how to create audiences from those predictive metrics that Jennifer talked about in the case studies. Everyone always wants to know, you know, the cool stuff first. So we'll go over that and see how to use some of those methods. So first with audiences and these predictive metrics. So to get here, you would go into the admin section of GA4 and click on audiences in the left-hand menu. From there, you'll be given a choice to build a new audience. As you can see here, there's a few different tabs. There's general, templates, and predictive. If you go to predictive, you might see some of these ready-made predictive audiences that you can choose to use and potentially modify. They'll either say ready to use, like you see here in green, or not eligible to use. The reason that one of these audiences wouldn't be eligible to use is that Google just doesn't have enough data to accurately predict what they're trying to predict, either that these people are going to purchase within seven days or churn within seven days, meaning they're you know, going to browse and not buy, not, come, not even come back to the website, so on and so forth. In addition, this can change. It's a little bit of a moving target. So if you're just on the cusp of having enough data in some of these, kind of watch that because these things can come and go. So to give you a little bit of a sense of what this looks like and, and how you can modify it, uh, if you dig into this audience, you can choose what level you want that purchase probability to be. In this case, it's for likely seven-day purchasers, it's defined as above the 90th percentile. But let's say you wanted to expand that a little bit. You could change that to 80%, 70%, so on and so forth. You can also add other metrics and things to filter on and create you know, uh, your own audience that's going to work well for your business with predictive metrics.